Good morning everyone and welcome to your daily dose of your spiritual vitamin with me Bonnie B. Now this morning, the Spirit of God wants me to teach. I haven't done it in a while. Been a couple episodes or so and read some energies and elementals and things like that. But this morning, I want to teach. When I originally started this channel, it was a teaching channel, and it's still a teaching channel, in lieu of everything else that we've got going on. We're a teaching channel. This morning, we're going to learn out of the book Kabbalion. The Kabbalion. We're going to learn out of the Kabbalion today because the 24th is full moon energy. Now, these next couple of days that we have coming in, we have Gibeous Moons. During the Gibeous Moon phase, the moon is gaining energy. She starts off small, but as she comes into her fullness, she gets brightly illuminated till she becomes full. Now this full moon that we have coming up I believe it's a black moon Okay, the black moon is in July. We have this moon for the 24th is known as the strawberry moon. It's the strawberry on the 24th. Okay, the strawberry moon represents strawberry harvest time, known as a mini moon. The smallest full moon, and it orbits about 250,000 miles from the Earth. Okay, that's our strawberry moon that we have coming on the 24th. Now, I talk about moon energy because moon energy is your manifesting energy. When you understand that, first of all, that the flow of money works like the flow of tides. Money comes in, money goes out. When you dam it up, you prevent the flow. The moon is money energy. Money moon energy money the moon energy is where you call in your prosperity and your abundance so in manifesting and releasing 
during your waxing phase, which is as the moon be the gibbous waxing is as the moon begins to grow. As it begins to grow, you need to release things and call things in so that on the full moon cycle you can begin to manifest. The spiritual cleanses and the spiritual baths that I offer that we're going to debut on the 23rd. These cleanses are made to break cycles. They are made so that you can release those negative energies that seem to attach themselves to you. The butters are created so that you can rub these on your skin, maintain your spiritual protection, and go through your everyday life. The tinctures are created for internal health. The butters for pain are created because we come from the earth. In dirt you came and thus you shall return. So the products that the Spirit of God has given me to create are all products that are 100% natural to feed the dust and dirt you, you know, when God created us, He created us from the dirt of the earth. Everything comes from the dirt of the earth. You come from dirt. The things that are created to help you are natural elements. They are things that God has placed in my creative spirit to produce that I may be able to help break strongholds, that I may be able to help heal, that I may be able to go out and be able to touch people and make a difference. These are all products that are made for the spiritual man within you. They're not made for the carnal man that he thinks that these things are going to bring him something. These are spiritual products. These are products that deal with your spirit. These are products that God has infused into. The spirit of God has been infused. The blood of Jesus covers these products because I take them before the throne of grace and I set the intention for God to do just that. And I believe God will. And I believe God has. And so, where I'm thinking that I'm supposed to launch on the 19th, which is the day of completion, God wants me to launch on the day of change, which is the 23rd. The day of change. The day that you break strongholds. The day that you release negative energy. The day that you come into your authenticity and understand who you truly are. That's what the 23rd represents. The day of change. Yes. So, in our teaching today, we are going to talk about the mental universe. The mental universe. This is your mental universe. Any spiritual warfare that takes place will take place in the mental universe. When the illusions are created via witchcraft or other occult means, they are created to cause confusion. They are created to cause illusions because the warfare takes place on the mental plane. When you do not protect your mind, and you leave it open. This is why it's important to meditate. This is why it's important to ground your energy. This is why it's important to focus on the spiritual center. That you can pull all of your forces together. Because in order for us to manifest, we have to use our four elements plus our self. But we cannot manifest if our center is not centered. You need to ground. And the best way to ground is to come into oneness with who you are. To stand still long enough to see the chaos that is circling around you so that you can identify what it truly is. 
See, sometimes we can't see the forest for the trees because we are so caught up in the midst of the trees that we can't see the forest. We take on people's problems. We take on illusions of what we perceive to be realities. When you understand that you are in fact in the matrix and that until you begin to heighten your awareness, that the tricks of the enemy will continue to work on your mind. There are some of us who can walk through this life and never even know that things are happening around us because we are grounded and we are centered. See, when you center your energy, that means your God, God is your focal point. You're concentrating on God. You're thinking about God. You're praising God. You're worshiping God. You're asking God for direction. You're asking God which way to go. You're constantly in communication with God. Here. On the mental plane. The all is spirit. The all is is spirit. God is spirit. But what is spirit? Spirit is that which cannot be explained. It's the all. It's all encompassed. And it's everywhere. It's the all. The all is spirit. But what is spirit? The question cannot be answered. For the reason that its definition is particularly that of the all. Which cannot be explained or defined. You cannot put God in a box. Can. You cannot say God is in here And I'm going to close this box I'm going to keep God in this box He is the all He's everywhere He's in everything He created everything He created the stars in the sky And the universe he is that energy that we connect with, that speaks to our minds, that tells us right from wrong, that leads and guides us. He is the angels in which he has encompassed to, to us, to help us. He has incorporated those angels with divine knowledge and wisdom. The wisdom of God is in the angel to help us navigate. The spirit is simply the name that men give to the highest conception of infinite living. We call it spirit. We, man, gave it that name. That was not its name. His name is and always has been yad hay Thank you for waiting. Spirit is simply a name that men give to the highest conception of infinite living mind. It means real essence. Spirit means real essence. Real essence. But what is real essence? Essence is the energy that you can feel, that can determine your mood. Essence is that untouchable energy that roams through and around us. When you understand that you are pure light, you are essence. This is just 
like this, a container that holds the essence of man. When we move from phase to phase, generation to generation, level to level, spiritually, that essence that is released from the container at death is what looms in the air. The essence of who you really, truly are. See, that this flesh does not pass. Once we leave this atmosphere, this hemisphere, when we leave here, this flesh does not go with us. It is the essence, the spirit man, that travels to the next phase. He is the essence. He is that breath that God has placed in every man. The essence. The true you is the essence of who you are. The essence make up your life experiences, the things that you've gone through, the memories that you can obtain and hold. See, because when you pass from this life into the next life, you take nothing with you but your essence. It's all that goes. It's the essence. That portion of man that is a spirit. And that's why it's important that we get that spirit right so that when it's time to be presented back to God as a living sacrifice, it can be holy and acceptable. That's what this is all about. The essence of man. As such a superior life and mind as we have known them to be, which is the essence, the real essence of the, the spiritual man, it transcends all understanding. It transcends it. When we think of the all, we think of all thought and understanding. And we feel that we are justified by thinking of spirit as an infinite mind. Which it is. Because in it is wisdom. In it is manifestation. In it is direction. When you don't understand that Essence. See, that's what this is about. It's about the essence. The essence of man. Spiritual man. That portion of us that gets represented to God. So when we're manifesting, in order for our manifestations to come into fruition, we must center and ground. We must cast an intent. And the intent that is cast must be the cast of intent for higher good. When we stay on low vibrations and we cast, you don't always control the things you cast. We're on low vibrations. It's not looking at the words of your mouth, it's looking at the intent of the heart. When you're on low vibration, the intent of the heart, it's low vibration. So the things that you bring into manifestation and then bring into to, to being on the 3D, you tend to have low vibrational energies. Which is why it's important to elevate. You must elevate to manifest. Because manifestation is done through positive mindset. 
Manifestation is done through positive awareness. Manifestation on positive. You see, we all manifest every day. Every day you live and breathe, you manifest. Every time you think a thought, you manifest. Every time you speak a word, you cast a spell. Every time you think a thought, speak a word, you manifest and cast a spell. Because casting is to speak. That's what it means. To speak it. And cast it around. It's like casting a net. Cast your words. That's why you must speak low, slow, and think. Because you can manifest negativity through your words. Through that woe is me mentality. You speak and you manifest negative energy. That's the way it is. Energy is constantly moving. It never stops. Even when you are at a standstill, the energy is still moving. However slow it may move, it is still moving. Energy never stops. And it never will. The mind is universe. It's a mental. It's a mental universe that we live in. Most things are perceived and conceived through the mind. And brought into 3D. And then no. Think positive thoughts. Be careful what you cast. Because you can bring things into fruition. You be blessed and that's your daily dose. Your spiritual life. Come here, darling. Thank you.